Hey guys, myself Rakesh and in this video we are going to learn about element state change trigger. How this works we are going to get two different examples. Before we get started let me show you what happens. The particular sequence is active now and it is monitoring my computer. For example I am going to open a site rpachallenge.com. The moment I open the site, you will see the UI path sequence which I have created, it is monitoring me and you will see soon it is going to tell me user opened rpachallenge.com page. So anywhere we have to you know set up a monitoring kind of a activity. This element state change activity in UI path is very very useful. So let's see how this one works. We will start again from the beginning. Okay. So first of all, for any kind of a trigger activity, what I have to do, I have to use something called trigger scope. So let me close this and type trigger. Okay, so you will find something called trigger scope, drag and drop the trigger scope. That is the first thing. And now here we need to learn about the element change, element state change. So let me drag and drop the element state change activity. Simple done. Now let's say I want to monitor this specific website. If the user is opening, I should get a notification or it should log somewhere. Now for that, indicate on a screen and then you can select any one element. But here we wanted to monitor the page. So I will be going with the entire page. Look at this. So how the green box is on the entire page. So let me select this. So once this is selector. Uh, once the selector is done, you can always check the selector and make necessary modifications. For example, here the CSS selector is actually not recommended. So I'll validate, click on OK. So this is done. So once the, so this element state change activity is going to check if there are any kind of a element change. So what is the difference? You should remember this word on appear. Okay, there are two different options on appear, on disappear. So you said, hey, monitor this. So you have given the entire screen. So it is going to monitor all the elements. And the moment it appears, it is going to get triggered. That is the meaning. Very simple. Do not, if you take the title, you might be slightly confused. But if you read this on appear, if an element appears, then it will get activated. If you select disappear, the element disappears, then it will get deactivated. So I'm going to keep it on appear. Now, what I'm going to do, I will use a simple message box just to demonstrate how this one works drag and drop the message box and here i'm going to say user has opened very simple user has opened rpa challenge.com page okay and also in the previous video i spoke about args variable how to utilize that you can watch my previous videos let's run it okay let's run it so what would happen now because we have provided this is the instruction or the selector we have provided it's going to monitor the entire page and the moment it appears it's going to say somebody has opened it now look at this in my screen it is already there so if it is already there it ignores it if a new instance appears for example i'm closing that and i'm trying to open the new instance of rpachallenge.com the moment I open a new instance, what would happen? The trigger will get activated and you can see it has come from this box to this box and it has showed user has opened the rpachallenge.com page. Okay. So this, this is how the element state change or you can say the element appear, you know, to, to make it very simple. So this one example we have understood. Now let's say I would like to monitor something. If a user clicks on the shortest path. If a user goes to this particular tab, it should say me, hey, user has opened the shortest path. So this is the web page. Uh, this is the portal. And on the portal, a specific page you would like to monitor. Even that can be achieved through the element state change. So let me show you how this can be done. I'm going to indicate on screen. Clear? Let's keep it to the right. And what happens the moment somebody clicks on this, the title of the page changes. For example, if you have not seen that, let me show you the moment if you click on input forms what happens the title is rpa challenge if you click on shortest path what is the title 
automation challenge now on ui path for this activity i will click on indicate on screen and i am going to indicate this particular title which keeps on changing so that means it is an indication that the user has gone to the second tab pretty simple on appear now i am going to change the message i will say user has opened user has opened uh, shortest path tab something like that or something tab page something some message i am indicating now let's run it okay now let's say i am going to this form i am in the input form okay now the execution started so it has already started monitoring okay this is executing now if i click on input form anything happens nothing happens if i click on movie search anything happens nothing happens if i click on any anywhere else nothing would happen okay but the moment i click on shortest path look at it the moment i am clicking on shortest path look at this did you see this got activated and now it is going to show me a prompt user has opened the shortest path getting it so with this example you must be clear how to use the element state change trigger activity on uipath studio so thank you guys so much we are going to meet again in our next video take care bye bye